Hello, welcome to this again. First off, welcome to the new setup. If you want to see more about it, go go check out the video up here. And if you don't like it, too too bad. I'm I'm not changing it. But that's not the subject of this video. The subject of this video is this Windows XP Gateway laptop. Now I have used this in videos before, I just don't think I've ever actually shown it. But what I want to do with this thing is I want to install macOS on it. Because yeah, there was a brief period where installing macOS on a non-Mac computer was almost kind of sort of easy. And to do this I will be using a DVD with iDeneb 1.3 installed on it. First off, I need to get this thing plugged in because right now it is not and it has no battery. This thing does have a pretty um, messed up backlight, so hopefully that's not too big of an issue. If it is, I can just plug in an external monitor, but that won't be ideal, but, so. It's complaining about, um, you know, date and time, because this thing has no CMOS battery that works. Alright, you're a bit closer now, just so you can see the screen a bit better. I think it's gonna boot into a bunch of Windows 7 boot options, maybe? Unless I have it set to automatically boot from the disk. Oh! I remember this from- I have done this before, but on a different computer- Hey! Now this computer does have an Intel CPU, so hopefully this has, you know, a slight chance of working. Specifically, it has a Pentium 4 because you cannot read this at all. Now, maybe this thing will have the proper drivers already? Probably won't, but... Thing is taking an awfully long time to load. And if you're thinking, man, uh, it's awfully dark in here, that's because uh, it ejected my CD drive. Why would you do that? I guess I'll just put it back in. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, I want to uh, F8 to start up options. Okay. Um, I want to do dash V so I can do diagnostic messages, so that I know, you know, that stuff is happening. I have an error about FireWire. I don't think this computer has a FireWire port, so... That's... a thing. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this has been going for like a hot seven minutes, um, and... <laughs> clearly nothing good is happening, so, um... Okay, yeah, dash V was verbose mode, and that's what I was wanting to do. I'll just try dash V again and just give it another shot. I'm not sure if these noises are a good thing or not. They sound pretty bad to me. I guess I'll just give it another shot. I'll give this another shot with verbose mode on. Hey, won't you look at that, it actually loaded. Let's just hope I don't have to restart this thing, because that's gonna take another age. Alright, English. Alright, I done a version 1.3 for Intel and AMD. First off, disk utility, because I need to format the drive. I'm just gonna erase it. It's Mac OS Extended Journal. Let's call it Mac. Turn everything on except for the AMD patch. Alright, I'm just gonna hit the install button, hope I don't, hope it, yeah, I'm just gonna skip this. Alright, it said installation completed and the screen went blank. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be restarting or what. And there it goes. I want to boot off the hard drive. Alright, cool. The wheel froze. Oh, we got a we got a mouse pointer. I can I can move the mouse pointer. That is a good start. Hey, I am in the United States. I am in the United States. No, uh, no. And then do I have to do any of this stuff? <sighs> Finally, all right. Home video film. No, just that I remember the password is Jada. Sure, that's my time zone. Sure, that's what time it is. Okay. Hey, and there we go. First off. Yeah. Now I'm assuming we have no proper sound. 
Yeah, no, we don't. Pretty sure there's no proper drivers at all. Let's see, what kind of stuff can we do? I'm gonna change the desktop wallpaper. I'll do this nice blue looking wallpaper. It looks pretty neat. Let's see the dashboard. Heck yeah, we got a calculator. Let's see, applications, photo booth. Despite the fact that there's no camera connected to this computer. But yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, I need a graphics card? Okay. Let's see, we got chess. Do I know how to play chess? No. But, either way, I can't figure out how to control chess. And, uh, in other news, uh, I can't close chess. So, something I want to try. Can it play the greatest game of all time? Yeah, it's able to play on Macintosh all the way up until 8.6. So, hopefully it doesn't yell at me for trying to play it on, uh, a Windows computer that's running Mac OS. Alright, I got my disc here. Yeah, this thing can run on Windows 95, so yeah. Old CD-ROM games are like that. They can just run on, like, every single thing. Hey, good start. Oh, Dang. Can it at least auto-run? Dang. Alright then, that was a very short-lived dream. Yeah, I'm assuming this thing can't do most things, cause, you know... iChat? Welcome to iChat. I don't want to set up an account for iChat. How do I leave? Okay, apparently I just don't have to <laughs> just click continue without entering anything and it just... works. And you know your computer runs well when, you know... <laughs> and iChat is not... doing anything. Cool. Alright. It, it says iChat's open up here. And now it's gone. Okay. I'm gonna eject the disk drive, I guess. Just to get my precious disk back. Eject. Thank you. What happens if I open up Safari? Tries to open up Apple Live page. It's not gonna do anything. Can I at least connect to it? I don't even think this thing has Wi-Fi. Yeah, I can't even do anything other than Ethernet, which I don't have up here, so... Are there any preview images? Well, it's not opening, so... I mean, let's see, what does the About thing say? Can, can I at least see About this Mac? This thing is running so slowly. Oh. Did I break it? All I did was try to open about this Mac, and it just... <laughs> well then. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Um, probably a bit underwhelming. There's not really much you can do after this. Just kind of wanted to see if it worked. Well then, yeah. That's the end of the video. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. And thank you to my channel members, Serenity Scubba, Stephen Fail, Richard Watterson, Skyblocker, GamerFox129, Sola Sippy Cup, and I am Maurice. And with that, I'll be seeing you.